Hi guys, I'm Ruben from One Fight Unite and today we are here in finally a sunny London in uh, Excel Exhibition Hall in East London and I am here with uh, uh, Thami from Via Life and we'll be asking him a few questions. Hi Thami, how Hi, are you Ruben. doing? Great I'm to have good, you. I'm good, I'm good. Good to be here. So um, tell me, how, um, how did you start as a, as a company Via Life and um, what was the journey before before the company became such a uh, big name and well-known name in the world? Well, the company was established in the very early 90s. The original owners, three friends, saw a gap in the market, uh, in the real cheese market, where uh, there weren't any more affordable offerings. Mm -hmm. So they um, innovated, they created a for the most part a plant-based cheese that did incorporate though milk protein in it in, uh, as a powder form. Yeah. So uh, that was what was called an analog cheese and it was a good offering, an affordable offering. But um, here's the thing, in Greece, before Easter, Christmas, 15th August, a lot of people fast. Mm -hmm. uh, what does fasting entail for them? They don't eat any animal ingredients. So, so basically you become vegan for yeah, a period of time. Yeah, without knowing it, they're going <laughs> vegan. Like before Easter, it's like 40 days. Uh, so as you can understand, all uh, animal-based products, sales would go like down. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was an issue for a new company starting up. They couldn't afford to have time going by without any sales yeah so you know thinking of how can we solve this like conundrum and well the answer was relatively simple at the time said well let's just take out the milk protein because what's what remains is plant-based mm -hmm. so that's how the fir very first iteration of a vegan mm -hmm. product came along so uh, we started an, uh, a long and arduous process of completely cleaning our label because at the time when you know, the whole thing started as you can understand it had preservatives in it, artificial yeah, yeah. colorings, artificial flavoring, you name it, it was there. So we had to take all this out step by step and replace with natural ingredients mm -hmm. and of course at the same time maintain and achieve a great taste, a great texture for for our public. Yeah, because it's, it's interesting. I think I think vegan cheese is, is something that many people are looking towards when, when they transition. When they transition from, from being a vegetarian to being vegan. And, and, and the cheese is the, the thing that they crave the most, in my opinion. That, 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 was, exactly that was my right. case when I, when I became vegan. And another really, really important question I wanted to ask you is, I know in Europe, genetically modified food is, is, not, is not allowed at yes. this point. That is completely true at this point. At this as point, you, as you correctly said. But uh, what about we'll what Violife? What is what is what is the view uh, on uh, on genetically modified food of Violife? It is one of the well, it's our company policy. Nothing genetically modified enters our labs. Great. This is great news. Nothing. Uh, we have a very strict list of. Uh, rules if you like that we uh, adhere to and honestly if we don't tick off all the boxes one of the boxes of course non-gmo it has to be non-gmo mm -hmm. if an ingredient does not tick all the boxes it just does not enter our r&d lab or our facilities at all mm -hmm. it doesn't go into the, into our production plant mm -hmm. um, and all your products all, all your ingredients are, are green, ethically sourced exactly uh, like uh, especially the coconut oil. Yeah. We receive many, many questions from uh, our consumers asking if the coconut oil we source, um, where it's sourced, if uh, like uh, animals, monkeys predominantly, or even children are exploited mm -hmm. to uh, collect the product. Uh, no, we pay a premium, but we get our coconut oil uh, from ethical suppliers that do not exploit either animal or children. And this that's is great. for us, you know, very, very important as well. Mm -hmm. that's, that's great news. And uh, another question, and I think a very important question I wanted to ask you. 
would you inspire a younger generation to be more hands-on, to go out there and to use their talents, to uh, well, do something really positive that benefits everybody? Um, I definitely would. First of all, plant-based food is the future. Whether we like it or not, we're going there. Animal food is it's just not sustainable. I've very recently completely turned to a vegan diet and the change I have witnessed is phenomenal. I'm, uh, I've lost weight, first of all. Um, I feel much, let me say, younger, uh, more energized, not at all bloated anymore after meals. <laughs> um, it's fantastic. Um, definitely, t as times are today, in any business, not very easy to start up, to enter, but uh, my message would be to young people, find something that you love doing, something that is good for our planet, good for animals, good for our fellow uh, people, um, and persevere, go after it. Go after it like there's no tomorrow, and believe me, your patience will pay off. Oh great, thank you very much Tammy and um, as to you all guys, um, keep on following your heart and make sure you do the right thing that benefits everyone. Thank you very much, I'm Ruben, this is One Fight Unite, have a great day.